Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com. Today is February the 14th, 2018. Let's talk about this George Groves, Chris Eubank Jr. fight coming up. But first, remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, let me just say, there are times when I'm baffled by markets, right? I've been an investor in silver for years. I still consider silver to be one of the best investments anyone can make. But over the last five years, silver has been flat. In fact, I think it's lost money, right? So I, you know, I look around, I don't know why everyone's not into silver, right? Just like I'm an investor in PIVX, the cryptocurrency, and uh, I'm a bit mystified that other cryptos with um, less features right uh, are more popular so just understand you know in the analysis there are times when I'm just baffled I I can't even explain to someone why silver isn't doing better well that's how I feel here about this Groves Eubank fight now just understand the fight's going to go off in a matter of days. George Groves is 29 years old as I make this video. Chris Eubank is 28 years old. So, as I look at the two men, they both seem to be in their prime to me. Right? Neither guy is an old man. I don't expect Father Time to tap anyone on the shoulder in this fight. Right? Both of these guys are young and vibrant. But only one of these guys has fought Carl Frotch twice. Let's remember the fights. He's winning the first fight. Drops Carl Frotch. Looks good before himself getting stopped by the referee and Carl Frotch. Right? The second fight Let's just say he's competitive in the fight. In other words, you don't get a feeling in either fight before the last punch that this fighter is overwhelmed. And this is against a Hall of Famer, right? Or future Hall of Famer. Only one of these guys has fought and has gone the distance with Badu Jack. Folks, that's hard to do. Many men haven't. You know, James DeGale was, you know, fortunate to survive that 12th round, wasn't he? Right? Badu Jack hits hard. Badu Jack is now at 175 pounds. In other words, Badu Jack was big for 168. Badu Jack is now at 175 and he's calling out Adonis Stevenson and big names. Right? Well, one of these guys has actually gone the distance with Badu Jack. Only one of these guys has beaten James DeGale twice. Let's remember, he beats DeGale as an amateur. Keep in mind, this guy fought as an amateur against elite competition. Then he beats James DeGale as a professional. Now, whoever you think won the fight, and it was close right? At a minimum, the guy goes the distance with James DeGale. Now, let's be clear, too. When he fights Carl Frotch, that fight's at 168 pounds, right? Not 160. It's at 168 pounds. When he fights Badu Jack, that fight's at 168 pounds. When he fights James DeGale, the pro fight's at 168 pounds, right? Compared to his opponent here, George Groves has much more experience 
especially against proven world-class competition at 168 pounds than does Chris Eubank, right? So, you could imagine my amazement that Eubank is the favorite in this fight. I, I don't get it. Right? That Eubank Billy Joe Saunders fight was at 160 pounds, wasn't it? That wasn't even at 168 pounds. Chris Eubank has less experience at 168 pounds, hasn't fought the caliber of fighter at 168 that Groves has fought. Right? Let me just repeat it. Groves has fought Carl Frotch multiple times, Badu Jack and James DeGale at 168 pounds and has held his own in many of those fights, right? Hasn't embarrassed himself. So, right now, Skybet, this is a gambling channel. We talk actual odds here at times. Skybet right now has George Groves an 11 to 8 underdog, right? If you think that's crazy, right? By the way, that's the same line at Ladbrokes, right? Think it through. If you think that's crazy, Bet365 actually has George Groves as a 6-4 to four underdog, right? This is the guy who's 29 years old. He's not washed up, who has fought elite competition, better competition, than Chris Eubank, right? So this is a silver situation for me. I'm the guy in the sports book at the casino looking downright confused, right? Utterly baffled. I'm looking around and I'm thinking, gee, what, you know, <laughs> what's going on here? Did anyone see the first half of the Chris Eubank, Billy Joe Saunders fight? Right, I I know Eubank has been on Twitter and online and social media, and I know Eubank talks a good game and looks awfully confident. Right? Okay, great. But pre-fight talk and pre-fight confidence at times doesn't translate into in the fight brilliance. Right? This isn't a talking contest, folks. This is actually a boxing match. At these odds, if you feel the fight is evenly matched, understand when you go in the casino and they're telling you that we're going to give you a 6-4, to four, <laughs> right? In other words, bet 100, get back 150, right? Plus the return of your 100 on a side of the play. And you look at that fighter, and you see that that fighter has actually fought the better competition, has actually been at 168 longer, right? Is going to be fighting, both guys are fighting at home. There's, there's no decided home field advantage, right? So to me, just off a of value play, and you know what they say, right? Casual betters, bet teams, right? Hardcore gamblers pick numbers. In my opinion, George Groves here shouldn't be the underdog in the fight, right? I think George Groves has at least as much a chance of winning this fight as Chris Eubank. right? I'm going to take the underdog here because he's the value play here. I like George Groves to beat Chris Eubank. I'll hedge the play with Eubank by KO. Right? If the casino allows it. If it doesn't allow me to take Chris Eubank by KO, then maybe, you know, for the whole fight, then maybe what I'll do is pick a portion of the fight and take Chris Eubank by KO in some set of rounds. First half of the fight. Um, you know, maybe rounds four to six or something like that, right? But make no mistake, 
This line's a mystery to me. I'm not even going to pretend here to understand it. Right? George Groves, a guy with more experience in 168 against elite competition, a guy who's been through hard times in boxing, right, is somehow an underdog to a guy who doesn't even have the level of experience at 168 that Groves has. All right, here again. And I know my channel sounds like I'm taking every underdog in sight. Let's just say, for the fights I've mentioned here online, I just feel they're casino mispricings. That's what we look for. I believe this is that. I like George Groves here. I'll hedge the play. George Groves to win, right? Um, especially at the 6-4 to four at Bet365. I'll hedge the play with Chris Eubank Jr. by stoppage. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. I know there's a big Chris Eubank contingent out there. I know he looked great against Yildirim. That fight surprised me. That fight was in Yildirim's backyard. Right? But Yildirim isn't Carl Frotch in my eyes. Right? Beating Yildirim by early KO isn't the same to me. Doesn't impress me as much as dropping Carl Frotch and winning the fight before, granted, getting stopped by Frotch, and then coming back in the rematch and actually holding his own against a guy I consider to be a future Hall of Famer. Let me say Yildirim doesn't strike me as as big a challenge as fighting James DeGale. I know DeGale wasn't the champion at the time of the fight, but he became a champion afterwards, right? DeGale's an Olympic gold medal winner. DeGale, in my eyes, still today is one of the best fighters pound for pound in boxing, right? So I see George Groves in a very inspired performance. I know the critics will say, hey, he was with a different trainer then. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. There's give and take. But George Groves goes the distance with James DeGale, right? He looks better than Andre Durrell did against James DeGale. Right? In my opinion, he looked better than Lucien Boutte did against James DeGale. He wins the fight. Right? I consider that a more impressive win than any win Eubank has on his resume. And you mean to tell me, even though these guys are practically the same age, one's 29 and one's 28, Eubank somehow is favored in this fight? All right. I'll be the Huckleberry here. I like George Groves to win. I'll hedge the play with Eubank by KO. If the odds don't allow that, I'll fool around on the Eubank side and just pick Eubank for a set of rounds. Right? Um, four through six, etc. Let me also say, too, that Groves made some adjustments during the Badu Jack fight. I get the feeling that Groves is growing as a boxer. In other words, Young Groves against Carl Frotch didn't really mix it up strategy-wise. Seemed to run out of ideas by the end of the fourth round in both fights, right? I believe this George Groves, a guy who's been humbled, a guy who talked a lot of game before both Carl Frotch fights, Right? I believe this George Groves, who's been tempered by reality a bit, now is making adjustments. Now is finding ways to finish fights more strongly than, let's say, he could when he was a younger man with less experience and less awareness. Right? I think the fight's mispriced, as I said. Even if you consider the fight a toss-up, understand... That Skybet and Bet365 don't. So, just off the different perceptions of the fight, you should have some betting opportunities here. I think this fight's mispriced. I think George Groves, at a minimum, is a very live underdog. That's how I see it. I look forward to your comments in the comment section to this video, especially the comments of the Eubank crowd. Tell us why Eubank should even be favored in this fight. Folks, 
meeting Arthur Abraham. At this stage of Arthur Abraham's career, when he can barely move in the ring, um, again, isn't as impressive to me as going the distance with Badu Jack. That's how I see it. Let me hear from you. Hit me up in the comment section to this video. Thanks for stopping by.